Now, a community mourning a Henry County police officer killed in the line of duty. We have live pictures right now to show the prayer vigil happening outside police headquarters in McDonough. Officer Parents Desai shot November 4th. He died four days later. His suspected killer also dead. Two other people connected to Officer Desai's death are in custody. Atori Cooper is there at that vigil and has a story. My brother is never going to come back. Even though family members of 38-year-old fallen police officer Peron Hans Desai will never get to embrace the loving husband and father of two ever again, his Henry County community is now making sure he is never forgotten. Every single person that has a story to tell has helped me understand why and who my brother was. Wow. And I thought I knew him the most. Officer Desai's sister and the Indian community are now finding relief in knowing the man who police say Sean killed Officer Desai, 22-year-old Jordan Jackson, is finally off the streets. There is no way I can go to that funeral on Sunday knowing that guy is still out there. Police say they found Jackson in this apartment complex in Riverdale after he was on the run for nearly a week. They say Caitlin Finley and Madison Rose Troy were both friends with Jackson and were helping him hide out right here. New video shows both women crying and cursing at authorities when they were also arrested for aiding and abating a wanted man. Police say Jackson shot himself at this apartment complex on Monday as SWAT teams closed in on his location. Now Officer Desai's family will hold a funeral for him on Sunday at the Henry County Performing Arts Center, where they will say their final goodbyes to their hero. I'm so thankful for Henry County, the community, um, the Indian community, all, all sorts of community, the, co the community that he lived in. Back live now, certainly a somber mood here in the parking lot at the Henry County Police Department, but also you're really starting to see his impact. There are close to 100 community members already here. The entire law enforcement team is here and everyone has been receiving flowers. There's a podium set up. They are going to be allowing people to come up and share a few words for officer to side. But the people I have had a chance to speak with out here so far say that he always wanted to be a police officer and he accomplished that dream. Make sure you follow along with us. We'll have all of the, uh, the coverage that takes place right here. Reporting live in Henry County, I'm Tori Cooper, CBS 46 News. A community, a family, both just trying to get some understanding. Tori, thanks so much.